Hello, and welcome to Bits, Bytes, and Barrels 101. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Can, and I'm your resident instructor and expert on the impacts of digital technology on the oil and gas industry. This course is designed to help you, the oil and gas industry professional, the digital professional, the supplier, or the regulator, or the financier, prepare for the coming disruption to the oil and gas industry caused by digital innovations. Seismic data collection generates enormous quantities of data, and the industry has been a pioneer in designing the tool sets to administer, manage, and use that data for decision making. Also, the industry doesn't have very clear accountability for data, except in the upstream, where the resource data for the subsurface has a very clear accountability, typically to the VP of upstream or exploration. But once you leave that domain area and start looking at other data types within oil and gas, the accountability for data becomes very murky indeed. Data wants to be free. Data copies very easily now. It used to be that without interconnectivity between devices and services, data could not easily proliferate. Now, data proliferates very quickly. And so one of the challenges inside virtually every company in the industry is identifying what data is most current and in dealing with this proliferation of data. The industrial Internet of Things is a key part of the framework because the sensors are the source of all of the data. And the rapid growth in sensors is a key feature of the digital world. There are various ways to measure the numbers of sensors, but here are just a few to think about. In 2016, industry observers estimated that there were about 8 billion sensors in and around the world. This will grow by um, billions to 20 billion by 2025. Sensors are becoming disposable. And that means that the ways we think about where they could be located opens up even further. The code that might be sitting on one of these sensor devices is frequently now open source which means the coding, the access to coders, or the individuals who know how to code for that sensor, that Internet of Thing, has now expanded to reach well beyond the narrow confines of the kinds of suppliers that have been traditional to the oil and gas industry. The sheer volume and amount of data has now thoroughly outstripped the legacy tools that the industry has grown accustomed to working with, and now the industry needs new tools to be able to work with the sheer volume of data. Artificial intelligence encompasses a wide range of technologies. AI generally refers to specific human capabilities which are now available as a feature of machines. And examples of these are cameras that can interpret visual signals, sensors that interpret and translate spoken language, and generate speech. AI can process and pull in multiple large data sets at the same time. Machines run 24 seven and need no breaks. Another feature is their 24 seven operational cycle. Learning machines also self improve. The algorithms that an AI machine uses to distinguish between a deer and a human at the gate are improving over time. That self-improving functionality is very, very powerful and is one of the reasons why AI is highly amenable to Metcalfe's Law and Moore's Law. The International Energy Agency estimates that AI applied to some subsurface data sets, particularly the low permeability and low porosity data sets, typified by shale and tight sand deposits in the upstream, will allow the industry to unlock a further 5% of global reserves. If the Internet of Things generates data, and the role of artificial intelligence is to interpret data, then the role of robots is to apply data. Robots have a long history. Their origins go back to early video games. Robots were aids that players used to automate tedious, low-value activities, such as collecting treasure and purchasing weaponry. Bots are now present in at least two different oil and gas contexts. In the front office, 
we see drones, but there are many different classes and types. In the back office, we see a technology called Robotic Process Automation, or RPA. Anywhere oil and gas operates a long-life asset that runs 24-7 with routine and repetitive work in a harsh or dangerous environment, drones become quite appealing.